Hello everyone, Nathan here. Today we are looking at another mind test mod, and it's called Bad Players. And now what this does is it adds in some what are they called? NPCs? Uh, I don't know if that's actually the right name for them. Um, basically it adds in some mobs that are people. And some of them will attack you, and some of them will defend you. So it's a good idea to have a weapon. And admittedly, a wooden sword's not gonna do too much good against these guys, because some of them will have, like, steel swords. It seems to be the most common. But some have just the wooden swords. Um, in my test run, I did stumble upon somebody who had a golden sword. So, they can have pretty powerful weapons. And, um, yeah, if you're not careful, they will kill you, pretty much. So, just getting a little bit of material here real quick. So I might at least have a fighting chance. Alright, let's go find some of these bad players. Oh, what? There one was. Um, so yeah, here we got this guy. Looks like he's got a stone sword. And it took him a long time to die. So yeah, he had a stone sword and a stone pickaxe. Yeah, I pretty much used it. Oh wait, and here another one is. And see, now this guy's got a steel sword. There's something funny with his texture, though. And I noticed this before. Some of these, like I'm sure he's not supposed to have a white face, some of these have messed up textures. And it looks like, because he has a steel sword, he is a stronger mob. Come on. Oh wait, come on dude down there with the pickaxe, come save me. Oh. People with pickaxes are friendly, or picks, um, I guess they're called different things, different places, but whatever you want to call it, the ones that have the pick are friendly, or in my experiences, anyways. Um, oh hey, they got a pick. Now of course if you attack them, they'll attack you. Hey, oh wait, no, he's got a sword, okay. He's friendly. He kind of confused now. Um, friendly and a not friendly, and we will see here. Oh uh, yeah, he's chasing me. Oh, and the guy that's fighting only has a wooden sword. Good. Keep him off of me. I don't even know where my bones went. Where are my bones at? Oh, but he didn't drop anything? Disappointing. Now, these guys will just go away after time. Both the friendlies and the unfriendlies. If you're not around, they will despawn. Save on server memory and stuff, of course. I don't know where my bones went. Whoa. Okay, see, this guy's got a pickaxe. And he's not friendly. Oh, boy. And he's really quick. And I respawned on top of a tree. Okay, so... Here's what we need to do. Because I honestly did not try this out. Will these guys destroy blocks, or do they just attack you? And if I put a little wall up to protect myself, will I be safe, or will they just dig right through it? Okay, see, now here she is. She's attacking him. And it looks like she's got an iron pickaxe, so there's a chance she'll defeat him. <laughs> he's 
dumb bugger. Get away from me. She got him. Okay, good. So now here's what we do. No, don't wander away too far. Alright, so we're gonna build a wall here. And now if you attack a friendly one. Uh, ah they will change from being friendly. And they will become unfriendly. Okay, trapped on the other side of the wall. Good, good. Not digging through it. Excellent. So it looks like if you have a a house or any sort of a building, you will be safe if you go inside. They don't wreck through it. And it looks like their AI is not smart enough to go around it. Good. Now if I run down over here though... Yep. Ah, oh, but I'd find if I did lost interest. Excellent. So it just adds players. Sometimes they're friendly, sometimes they're not. Friendly ones will fight the non-friendly ones for you. But, um, as it turns out, there's really not any real way to tell if they are friendly or not. And they just kind of, they are or they aren't. And this guy does not seem to be hitting the guy behind him too much. There you go, buddy. You gotta wait between your sword clicks. Alright, so that's... Enough show and tell here, I think. I mean, what more is there to show? Um, it doesn't add any new items to inventory at all. Uh, with the exception, maybe, of spawn eggs. I didn't try that out. Um, they do spawn at any time of the day, though. So it's it's not something where they only come, up, come out at night. They are an all-around-the-clock kind of thing. So, it just gives you a little something more to be on the lookout for. And, when you do kill these guys, you do get some decent drops. Um, he'll probably kill me, but... We'll see here. Um, in the case of this guy, of course, he only has a wooden sword, so... I wouldn't exactly get a very good drop. And his health is still at 16, which does not seem right. His health has not gone at all. Probably because of his armor, and I am punching him. And now I will drown. Alright, so... Uh, let's end this here. Because theoretically now, it's been like 12 minutes long. Because it's about the length of a day. So, we'll look at the beautiful sunsets. And call it a day. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back again next week with another Mind Test Mod Review.